Welcome to our digital worship, but it's not a normal digital worship. It's Easter. You will hear Pastor Juan Carlos preach a resurrection love, for God so loved the world. God loves us so much, a love more powerful than death. It's resurrection power right now, and we begin with our great Easter processional.
Our scripture today comes from Acts chapter 10, 34. Then Peter began to speak to them, I truly understand that God shows no partiality, but in every nation, anyone who fears him and does what is right is acceptable to him. You know the message he sent to the people of Israel, preaching peace by Jesus Christ. He is Lord of all. That message spread throughout Judea, beginning in Galilee after the baptism of John announced how God appointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power, how he went out doing good and healing all who oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. We are witnesses to all that he did, both in Judea and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on a tree. But God raised him on the third day and allowed him to appear not to all the people, but to us who were chosen by God as witnesses and who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commanded us to preach to the people and to testify that he is the one ordained by God as judge of the living and of the dead. All the prophets testify about him that everyone who believes in him receives forgiveness of sins through his name. This ends our reading. We have to go back 2,000 years ago and just imagine for a moment with me. In today's scripture, these disciples have had an experience. They have seen the Lord. Now, they went through the grief and the pain of losing Jesus, and, and they went through the hopelessness of what we now call Good, Good Saturday. And, 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 and you would think that, that those images would still be deeply imprinted in them. They were quite traumatic, as you might remember. But from the very beginning, Jesus proclaimed that, yes, that would happen. There will be suffering. There will be struggle. There will be trial but that he would, would rise again. And then they themselves, uh, these disciples, had gone and, and gone on to live their lives, and many of them had gone back to fishing again, and, and then, and then they, they saw the Lord. They saw the risen Savior. And, and the early texts tell us that they, some of them doubted, like Thomas, and, but in the end they had this encounter with Jesus post his death, and that encounter changed absolutely everything. Some of them even saw uh, the, the marks on his hands and on his side. The, 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 the reminder to all of them of this embodied Jesus after his death and, and the suffering that was still part of this story that we proclaim as gospel to this day. And then that message of a God who becomes flesh lives and heals and transforms and reconciles and then out of that because of that then dies at the hands of the powerful uh, then then becomes renewed by this idea that then that wasn't the end of the story there is a new story resurrection is a new beginning resurrection is a new story resurrection means that death doesn't have the last word. Resurrection means that the suffering and the struggle that humanity might go through, that isn't the last word either. Resurrection means that there's new life and light, no matter how difficult it's been. Resurrection is a promise, not just for humanity, but for all creation. And these disciples, these followers of Jesus, this emissaries to the way of Jesus held on to that encounter they had with this resurrected Savior. And that inspired their movement forward. Every moment forward after that was inspired by resurrection. The ancient stories tell us that each of them actually were spread throughout the known world and, and took the message of Jesus to all of these places and spaces uh, in something, but we know whether those stories are actually, you know, historically factual or not, we know that something did indeed happen with these early followers of Jesus that inspired a movement that 
literally change the world. And so since then, we gather once a year and we celebrate resurrection. We, we make a proclamation. We, we've walked with Jesus in these 40 days and now, and now we make a proclamation that not just that Jesus has been risen from the dead like those disciples shared it 2,000 years ago, but that some way, somehow, you and I are participants in this resurrection, participants in this new life that, that even though everything seemed bleak, everything seemed like it was ending, everything seemed hopeless just a moment before because Jesus rose from the dead, then all of us are participants in the possibilities of new life. So today I'm wondering with you, just for this moment, what would that new life look like for you? What would it look like for you to experience resurrection? What would it look like for you, like those disciples long ago? Something changed. Something happened. They were not the same. They were timid. They were scared. They were hopeless. They had gone back to their day-to-day -day life. They thought that that whole thing about Jesus had been a farce. But then this, this event takes place, and it awakens them to a new reality. I'm wondering how you might awaken to a new reality, how you find uh, deep within you a, a courage to, to face your life in this very moment and to know that, that transformation and, and change is indeed possible because of resurrection. Oh, I, I don't know your story, but, but, but I'm wondering if, if, you, if, you, if you've been human long enough, you know, you've experienced uh, struggle, you've experienced suffering, you, you've experienced uh, discomfort, you, you've experienced death, you, you've experienced loss, you, you've experienced difficulty, and, and so you know what that looks like. So imagine being lifted from that reality into life, into possibility, into love, into imagination and potential for you, for your loved ones, for your communities, and for the world. We, like those early disciples, get, get an opportunity to hear the message again and the hope on this Easter is that you be captured by this possibility of resurrection for you. That, that maybe this year is the year where you can see the Lord, when you can see that love incarnate, where you can see that healing being possible, where, where you can see that death doesn't have the last word, and you, you then are filled with hope because you have encountered this, this reality for you deep, deep within your soul. And all of a sudden, then winter seems like so long ago. Spring right here, new life in this moment with each step you take in the days ahead. So, people of God, if you're listening in this moment, know that this new life, this resurrection has been made possible by God for you, for us and for the world, yes, even you. That, that, that if you pay attention, that divine life is showing up in ways unexpected and, and inviting you into new life, inviting you into possibility, inviting you, inviting you into transformation, uh, inviting you to get out of that, of that stuckness that you might feel in this very moment and, and, and inviting you into community and into connection, into participation with a divine life that shows up in the world and proclaims that, that it is life that has the last word, that, that, is, that it is the kingdom of God that, that is in charge, uh, uh, a new day that, that unfolds the possibility for love to be triumphant over all that opposes it, and, and, and for restoration and forgiveness and community uh, to, 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 to come and emerge and be possible, not just for you and I, but for the world, in fact, for all of creation, we, 
like those disciples long ago, seeing the risen Savior and knowing that all will be well, all will be well, life before us. That's my prayer for you, that you can see life before you, good life, abundant life, loving life, hopeful life. Ah, the life that this Christ has made possible. Pay attention. It is here. Happy Easter. Amen. God, may you go today 
be inspired by the resurrected Lord and go Easter the world with every step you take. Go, go Easter the world. Thanks be to God. Amen.